So today's video is mainly about the cold steel special forces shovel. I'm going to put it through his paces, see what I think about it, sharpen it up when he needs sharpening with the DMT stones and just basically put it through his paces and I'll give you my opinion at the end. I'm also going to use my Mora Garberg and I'm going to light the fire where the boulder is set from last week. Um, I'm going to use difference this time, I'm going to use my SC tool as a bearing block and not last week I used um, a fat wood bearing block which didn't really work out that well but I think it's just because it was small. So I hope you enjoy the video, if you do please leave a like, subscribe, share, I'm trying to build the channel up um, and I'd appreciate any comments, comments are great. Okay, thank you very much, please watch, please enjoy. Thank you. Well, it's not as good as an axe, but it's split okay.
I'm going to put an edge on it now. See if I can make some feather sticks with it. Let's go my little sharpening pouch here. DMT double sided diamond, diamond stones and a diamond rod. So this is extra coarse and coarse. I'm not going to go to town on this and make it shaving sharp, I'm just going to put an edge on it. Switch size now. Got a tiny burn it, so I'm just going to knock it off with this. not working really well it's because of the angle of the blade it still wants to dig in I'm not feeling the love, but I could do with a longer stick to be honest with you.
Well, they're feather sticks, but they're shit feather sticks. Letting the wind do the work.
so that's it unfortunately I'm not firing all uh, cylinders today a bit of bad news a few things so bear with me a bit So another Sunday morning where it's blowing a gale up here. Well, I was glad anyway. I wanted to uh, have another pop at the boat trail. And it's the same set as last week. And it's been here in the damp. It's been under a plastic sheet, but you know, it still can pick up damp. And well, first time failed, but that was human error. I was relying on the wind, but the wind died right at the moment. I didn't want it to die. But I got a second call, no problem at all. It did fine. But uh, I'm going to have another play now with the uh, Special Forces shovel. But what I've been thinking of doing, last week uh, Joe Robinette put a video up. And if you don't know who Joe Robinette is, well you're obviously not into bushcraft on YouTube because he is just about one of the most famous uh, YouTube outdoorsmen going. And he was he just bought uh, a flint and steel set from a show we'd been to. And he was talking about uh, a challenge which you basically you light the fire with a boat drill then you've got to think then about the second fire so instead of doing it with a boat drill again you make um, charred tinder and then you light it with your flint and steel set but that's a bit easy I think so I'm gonna omit one of the parts now I can't decide whether I'm gonna omit my SC tool and just use a steel or I'm going to omit the, um, the string, so I've got to make natural cordage. Or I could omit the, um, the flint as well and look for a rock. There's bugger all up here because I've been looking in all the upturned trees in the, in the roots and I did find one piece, which when I looked at it, over there, I saw a bit of sh it looked like a bit of quartz, but looking at it now, no, it's that sandstone, so that's a load of crap, so we won't bother with that. So, if anybody wants to comment, see, I'm not doing it today, I'm going to do it another day. So, if somebody would like to comment and say what I should omit, I'm going to use a knife for it, or otherwise, I'm going to take forever. So, I will be using a knife, but what shall I omit? Shall I omit my SC tool or shall I omit the string? Okay, well I'm going to have another play now with that shovel.
quite a chop anyway, it's pretty good. This wood is a bit on the turn, mine. So it's it's dried and started to go, but can't argue with that really. I don't think I'd want to chop seasoned wood with it. Because I think it would probably just bounce off or lose its edge very quick. So a bit more firewood for us. Nothing takes the edge off, like knocking the nodules off a pine tree, because they are tough next to the tree, and I've just bent, I've just bent that hit in them, but I haven't chipped it, it's not a problem, I can knock it back out, but I did find some fat wood. I just put the kettle back on now and I just want to show you I'm just keeping the fire ticking over small so there's three logs in there I've just adjusted them now put them together and they've gone up straight away so that's just just fine for this kind of day with the wind I'm not cold or anything it's quite a nice day No, really dull.
No, that's not bloody good. Well, this wind isn't helping today. Finally went up and then went out. Well, I'm not impressed with that. So, as a tool, it can dig, it can cut, and it can bend. Now let's do this with a knife and see how much easier it is. lit twice but because the wind is blowing behind me it's going out so let's blame the wind today I 
and that's the difference using a tool that's meant for the job and the tool that's meant to do multiple jobs. So what do I think of the Cold Steel Special Forces shovel? It's a good bit of kit. It's cheap, which is always a plus. I've got the sheath for it. As I say, I've had this quite a few years. I showed you the ding earlier. It's no good for hitting seasoned tough wood. I don't particularly want to cut any green wood down here. <clears throat> but I know for a fact it would work just fine with the green wood. It would be great. Semi-rotten wood, like I chopped earlier. Piece of piss. Sorry, piece of cake. As a shovel, it works just fine because I've used it before. And I know for a fact it's fine. It's got two screws. So if you wanted to, and you've got a multi-tool on you, you could take them off. Put a long handle on if you've got a lot of work. Then put the short handle back then, if you need to prep any wood. As for carving with it, forget it. I don't think it's any good. Although, last time I sharpened it up, I sharpened it up on the belt back home and ran it over the polish, yeah? and I did make better feather sticks. But then, I wasn't in the field, so it's not a, a true representation of what they can do. At a push, it's fine. Don't think for one minute you can substitute this for an axe, because you can't. It doesn't compare. So that's my thoughts on the Cold Steel Special Forces shovel. Well, I brought my Mora Gab bug out to me today again. I brought it last week, but I can't say I did much to it with it. I just shaped a bit of the bow drill, and uh, that was about it, really. Didn't even make a feather stick with it. I do like the Garberg. This is the second one I had. The first one I had, I bought it and I immediately thought, nah, I don't like this, I don't like this. This is uh, not as good as one of my customs. But then I had the, the hankering to buy another one a couple of months later and they were going cheap on Amazon. I think it was only £55. £55 well spent. It's a good knife. It's a strong knife. Lovely sharp spine on it. And it came pretty sharp. I have given it a tickle over. And it hasn't needed any other sharpening since. I don't know if it shaves now. It shaves a bit. But I'm going to make a little feather stick now with it. Just to say I've taken it out and had a play with it. I'm going to do a full review of this knife sometime. As a fire lighting tool, it's an excellent knife. But if you want to carve a pretty spoon, forget it. Because that curve there just can't get into anything delicate. It's fine for a bow drill notch. And if you're carving a spatula or something a bit more rustic, it's fine, it's great. But uh, a pretty spoon, forget it. Where am I? Still getting used to doing things on camera and stopping and making sure that you can actually see what I'm doing and I do think that the work suffers A couple of them will get any fire going.
Not the Hollywood mixed one, fabulous thick one. Good knife. I like my fire is my favourite ferro rod, the big one I was using earlier. I can't work out, sometimes it feels a bit soft, sometimes it feels a bit hard, so that's just a bit of a bruiser. No messing. 